So let's go to the level where we're placing our roof. So that should be our top of steel office. Now here you can go to the roof command and create this typical EPDM roof. So you would like to start with a generic roof. Edit the type. Duplicate it. And name it typical EPDM roof. So I already have this here. I've duplicated it. And if you edit the type, you'll see here the configuration as I've shown earlier. So that just copy that, make the changes, and make sure you check this variable checkbox for the thermal air layer, rigid insulation. Again, when we slope our roof, the thickness of the insulation will thicken at one end. So instead of, if you don't do that, the entire structure will be sloping. So if you want your entire roof assembly to slope with the change in the height of certain uh, areas in your roof, then by all means, do not check this. But if you want the metal deck to stay, let's say, on the beam system and beam and simply increase the volume and the thickness of the rigid insulation, then make this a variable. Okay, so create that. Click OK and click OK. So again, make sure you have duplicated this before you change the generic roof. Click OK. Then we're just going to use the pick wall option. We're not going to include this in the lower roof or office roof. We're going to create a different roof for that part, the stairs. Now here, you don't want to click this line again. Since we already have one line, we're just going to trim these two lines to connect. Same is true with this line here. So then click here, TR to trim, connecting the lines that are perpendicular. Okay. So let's see. It's two. Connect those two and this as well. Okay. Now make sure your base level is the top of steel. You don't have any offsets. And you're good. Now you might have a symbol here. If you find uh, that you have a symbol here, a slope symbol beside your lines, that means you have defines slope checked. So if you have this symbol here, that will be the slope of this particular roof. So it will slope up in this direction at an angle of 30 degrees. So all the entire roof will slope that way, making it a shed type roof. If you want a gable type roof, you can also change this to define slope. So this will slope here at 30 degrees. This slopes at 30 degrees, meet somewhere in the middle. That becomes a gable roof. If you add slopes here, then now that becomes a hip roof, especially if you have this as well. So we don't want that. So make sure defines slope is unchecked. So define slope is unchecked. You do want to maybe practice. So try to see what happens if you define a line with slope. I'll just click OK to this. And there's our roof. If we look at it in a 
3D view. While this is selected here, notice that in a 3D view, right, we'll have this roof added to our office space. So you can do the same thing here and in the stairs area. So adding roof, flat roof for all the different areas in our structure.